words of this song in your presence this is where we belong in his presence that's where we are strong seeking your face oh God touching your face in the presence of the rock Lord we worship together and give the Lord a mighty clap and a great shout to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords we are here just for him hallelujah hallelujah turn to your neighbor welcome them and tell them we are in the presence of the Lord in his presence that's where we belong amen amen, amen. It's great to be in the presence of the Lord. I don't know about you. Doesn't matter how our situations are. We are right here. We are unapologetic. Because we are here to worship the King of Kings. The Lord of Lords. Amen. To exalt his name. And our hearts are all to him who loved us and gave himself for us. Let's appreciate him. We say thank you Jesus. Amen, 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 amen. If you're here for the very first time, much, 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 much welcome. For those who are here and this is home, much, much, much welcome. Praise the name of the Lord. Psalms 147, real quick. As we pray and then we start with the session of the word. Psalms 147, I want us to just think through. And let's join David, uh, the psalmist. The Bible says, praise the Lord. How good it is to sing praises to our God. How good it is. It is good to him. It is good to us. I don't know whether it is good to you. But the psalmist says, how good it is and it's not just good he says how pleasant it's not just pleasant it is fitting to praise him can i hear an amen, amen. then verse 2 he says the lord builds up jerusalem now we can put our names there the lord builds up you he gathers the exiles of israel he heals the brokenhearted and I see him doing that this morning. Maybe you came here broken hearted. In his presence. There is fullness of joy. Praise the name of the Lord. He heals. Verse number 3. The broken hearted. And bites up their woods. You know we are right in his presence. And may the Lord. Heal our broken hearts. Binding our woods in the name of Jesus. Verse 4, he determines the number of the stars and calls them each by name. Verse 5, great is our Lord and mighty in power. Great is our, God, is our Lord and mighty in. Let's pray. Gracious, loving Father, we confess these words. Great is you, Lord, and mighty in power. Great is your name. Heavenly Father, you are the Lord. The sovereign God, the almighty, the Elohim, the great I am. Father, you've been so good and so kind to us. We don't take it for granted that we have a chance to gather together in your name. 
and to offer praise and worship. We want to do it with gratitude, with humility, and yet with joy. We acknowledge it is fitting. It is pleasant. Yes, to praise the living God. Lord, our hearts exalt you this morning. We declare there is none worthy of our worship other than you. We declare none else worthy of our praise other than you. You who daily bears our burdens. You who daily fights our battles. You who perfects all that concerns us. You who gives us victory of day after day. You who causes us to triumph every day in Christ Jesus. You who have given us salvation. You who have redeemed us by the blood of your son Jesus. We are here to offer praise and glory and honor and majesty to the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Saints of God, let's put our hearts together and give him a mighty clap as the praise him takes over in the name of Jesus. It's another Friday. Let us praise our one true God because He is the rock of all ages and He is the rock of our salvation. There's no other rock than our God. There is no rock, there is no God like our God. Hey! 
Hallelujah. You deserve the highest praise. Lift your hands and say, You, Lord, you deserve the highest praise. You deserve the highest praise. That's what we came here for. Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise. Lord, we honor you. Lord, you deserve our highest praise. How great, how awesome is your name. Hallelujah. You want to enter into a session of intercession? We are praying for Middle East. As I call Deacon Kevin, this is where, right where we are. And as the Lord says, if my people called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, the Lord says, I will hear them and heed the land. We are interceding for Middle East. The Lord has positioned us here, not by accident, but on purpose. We pray for the peace of this, the entire region, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let's join our hearts this morning and lift up our spirits and our voices and pray, pray to, to God for, our, for the nations of the Middle East. Father, we thank you for this privilege we have, O oh, Father, to intercede for the nations, O oh, Father. Lord, you have planted us in this place, and we will pray, O oh, Lord God, for this nation according to your word. Lord, your, father, your word says, and ask of me, for the nations, and I will give it to you as an inheritance. Father, so we ask for the nations of the Middle East, O oh Father. We ask for their salvation, O oh Father. We pray for every person in this region, O oh God. We pray that you open their eyes of understanding, O oh Lord God, so that they would see, O oh Father, that you alone are the only way to the Father God. You are the only way to salvation, O oh Father. And we lift them up. We cover them, the entire nation, nations of this, of the Middle East, of this region, with the precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, that you have shed your blood for them. And we pray, Lord God, that you would give them the grace to see and to understand, Lord, you as their Lord and Savior. We pray for the peace, O Lord God, of all the nations in this uh, region. We pray, O Lord God, that, O Lord God, that, there would be no bloodshed, O oh Father. We pray for Israel, especially, O oh Lord. You have asked us to pray for the peace of Israel, O oh Lord Jesus. And we pray, O oh Lord God, that especially in Israel, that there would be peace that prevails, O oh Father. We come against every force of violence that is trying to take over this entire place, O oh Father. But we know, O oh Lord God, that your Holy Spirit will prevail over everything. And we pray, O oh Lord God, especially, O oh Lord God, for all the rulers of this uh, of these lands oh lord god of these nations we pray that you would give them godly wisdom oh father to rule these nations i pray lord for all the decision makers in in this in this region oh lord god i pray that they would make decisions that would facilitate the the propagation of your gospel the spreading of your word oh father and especially i pray for the church oh lord god in all these lands I pray that you would empower us, O oh Father, God, to go forth boldly and to speak, O oh Father, of you and to witness, O oh Father, of your fame, to witness, O oh Lord, of your love to each and every one we come into contact with, O oh Lord, even in our workplace, O oh Father, give us the boldness to speak of you, O oh Lord God. I pray that you would empower us, O oh Father, and that your word would go forth as we open our mouths to speak your gospel, O oh Father, that you would that it would go forth with power, O oh Father God, to change lives. And most of all, I pray, O oh Father, that your church would demonstrate your love, O oh Lord Jesus, to the people that we have, that we have been placed with, O oh Father. In our workplaces, our neighbors, whomever we come into contact with, O oh Lord, let us not forget to show your love to them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's take our seats. Amen. It's my... Joy and pleasure to welcome our General Secretary, Pastor Philip, for the announcements. Let's put our hearts together as we welcome him. Warm welcome to all of you seated in this premises as well as the watching us online. Can we put our hands up in the air and say thank you, Jesus? 
the first song we sang, if you have noticed the lines, it says, Seeking your face and touching your... Oh, you all well, well, live, sang that lines. If you seek his face and touch his grace, you will never be the same again when you go out from this place. The Bible says in 1 John 5, 4, that uh, those who are born of God overcomes the world. And what is that which will help us to overcome is our faith. Yes. So this morning, if you seek his ways, touch his grace, then you will never be the same again. Put our hands together and let's say, Father, we thank you for the grace that is sufficient to overcome every situation in our lives. Amen. Once again, warm welcome. Quickly to the announcements. Church school Bible quiz is cancelled. Uh, shortage of students. Maybe they have exams. Uh, so that quiz which was announced is cancelled. As we all know, next Friday is our uh, church anniversary. So the day has come where we all gather together in one place. That's a Wembley football court uh, behind Adari Park. Uh, shortly the uh, display will be here. Uh, so uh, Wembley is football court. Type it on your Google map and you will see behind Atari Park. We gather at 8, but try to be there by 7.30 so that we don't be uh, waste time. So whoever comes early will get a chance to pray also. So uh, a kind note that uh, even though we are gathering there, we will have the normal uh, praise and worship as well as the word. So we are not uh, neglecting the service there. So we will be having the service from 8 to maybe 9.30. We will have the service and then on we will move on to whatever is planned for the day. So uh, there won't be any services and this premises on that day which is 18th uh, November. Uh, so kindly note that nobody should come here and if you need uh, transport arrangements that need to be coordinated with Pastor Thomas uh, who will uh, uh, take note of that and he will do the needful. So we will be gathering uh, on 18th on Wembley football court behind Adari Park. Uh, so time starts at 8, 8. We will have the normal praise and worship and the word and then only we will move on to all the other events that are planned for the day. So you will have be served with breakfast, lunch and snacks. So you don't have to get worried. Uh, uh, for a change we will shift from samosas to something else. Uh, so uh, please do come and uh, and I urge you that this is the time that we got after two and a half years uh, uh, to get together. So let's come together as a corporate body and worship and see who all are in this church. And I urge all of you to come. Please do come and let that day be a blessed day uh, for each one of us. And also you have to give your the cell uh, pastor should give their count of number of people who will be attending. Please give it to Pastor John Wesley uh, so that, you know, we can order food uh, and arrange the things needed over there. There is a swimming pool and a football court and all these things uh, on that premises. So take care that uh, we don't create any issues there. Even though in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ we are gathering, we need to take care of ourselves. So kids should not be running around and... Uh, we don't want any eventual eventualities happening at that place. So please prayerfully come, even though we are gathering together. Okay, now next uh, announcement. Missions Day is on December 16th. Uh, as ad uh, addressed earlier, Missions Day is something where we uh, uh, get to know each other, what this church stands for. Our theme is right now on the board, preach the word and save the world. So... Uh, the missions uh, and the work that we do in Bahrain as well as the work that we do outside uh, Bahrain in our homeland uh, also will be, we'll get a time, uh, time to see all that or uh, hear about that. So please uh, take a note of that. December 16th, we'll have the missions day and uh, come prayerfully so that you can support, pray for all the mission fields that are in operation by this church. The 31st night is the New Year service. Uh, as you all know, we'll be gathering at the Morris Hall. Arrangements, uh, arrangements are being done, so please uh, pray for that too. After a few years, we are getting another opportunity to gather together on a New Year's uh, day, uh, so please pray for that. Pastor Jacob stressed us uh, again to announce that all uh, the Saturdays, coming Saturdays, so, uh, from, uh, we are gathering here at, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Uh, come fasting. We are praying 
so that we enter prayerfully to the next year. Uh, so please, uh, uh, there is no restriction for who should come. If you are free to join us, please do. Uh, it will be in hall number two. Uh, thanks for those who are coming. Uh, but please do come. These are the last days that we are uh, having before we enter into the year 2023. So please do come and let us pray together. And uh, as the Lord leads us and guides us, we will, uh, by God's grace, if he allows, we will step into 2023. So that's in hall number two. Starts at 10 uh, and ends at 1. So please come on Saturdays. Any newcomers uh, and anybody celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversaries? Please stand up. Newcomers and birthdays and wedding anniversaries. All right. Thank you. Anybody else? Okay, let's close our eyes. Father in heaven, we just thank you and we praise you for this wonderful day that you have given us. Lord, be gracious to us and make his face shine upon us. Father, as we sang that song, seeking your face and touching your grace, Father, which will always empower us to move forward in the will and purpose and plan of God in our lives. Father, we pray for these precious souls that are standing up. Father, as they pass one year in their life, Father, they are tasting the goodness of the Lord each and every day of their life. Every perfect gift comes from above, the word of God says. And Father, as they stand, they bear a testimony saying that they have tasted the goodness of the Lord. Thank you for the past one year in their life. As they step into a new year, it is our prayer as a corporate body that, our Father, they will have a closer walk and a relationship with you and move forward in the will and purpose and plan of God in their life. Thank you for their life. Thank you for their family life. I pray, Lord Jesus, Father. Father, they are strategically positioned in the land of Bahrain for a divine purpose. And let that be accomplished through them in this land, in their workplaces, in their family life, in their going out, in their coming in. Father, this morning we thank you and we praise you. We pray also for the newcomers to this church. Father, nobody comes accidentally to your presence. Father, everybody comes because you are the one who draws each one of us into your presence. Father, Father, so as they sit in your presence, let them see the goodness and the favor and the grace of God. Father, Father, moving in their life in a mighty way. We bless them as a church in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let that life be a blessing. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. We will worship the Lord with our giving as the choir ministers. So just prepare yourself with the offering. We'll pray as the choir ministers. We worship the Lord with our giving. Gracious, loving Father, we thank you. We thank you for our lives. Our lives is a gift from you. By your grace, we are what we are. By your grace, we have what we have. We have health all by your grace. You've protected us and preserved us. Lord, we have jobs. We thank you. We thank you for every provision you've made to us. A barren provision. And even those without jobs, and they are among us, this Lord, we pray for them this morning. The doors will open for them. And they will have something to do and earn a living and serve you with the substance of their work. Supporting themselves and their families and bringing glory to your name. Lord, we offer our offerings 
With their tithes, Lord, we dedicate them to you for the furtherance of your kingdom. We do so as a worship with gratitude and faith in Jesus' mighty name. And the saints of God say, Amen, Amen, Amen. The baskets will be passing by as the choir minister as well. darkness we were waiting without hope without light till from heaven you came running there was mercy in your eyes to fulfill the law and prophets to a virgin came the word from a throne of endless glory to a crazy to read uh, 1 Chronicles 29 verse 11. 
As we prepare to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, these are the words of David. And if you have your Bible, it says this was a prayer of David. But then we realize this prayer of David turns into a song. You know, when the heart is fulfilled with gratitude and awe and submission, the contriteness of the heart makes prayer turn to praise. And so David says in verse number 11, maybe verse 10, David praised the Lord in the presence of the whole assembly saying, and it's recorded, it's recorded what he said, praise be to you Lord, the God of our father Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Verse 11, he says, You as Lord is the greatness and the power and the glory and the majesty and the splendor for everything in heaven and earth is yours. Then he says, You as Lord is the kingdom. You are exalted as head over all. Verse 12, he says, Well, then honor come from you. You are the rule of all things. In your hands are strength and power to exhort and give strength to all. Then verse 13 he says, Now our God we give you thanks and praise your glorious name. Shall we lift our hearts together and shall we identify with the words of David? For all he is now Oh, verse 5, it said, Now, oh God, we give you thanks. We praise your glorious name. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, we give you praise. We praise your glorious name. Now, like unto you, Father, how great and awesome is you, who is everlasting and everlasting. From everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Your kingdom is eternal. You reign forever, Lord. From everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Our souls exalt For there is none. There is none, Lord. There is none like you. Just worship him. There is none like you, Lord. Praise Him. Spirit of the Sovereign Lord, come and make your presence known. Reveal the glory of the living God. Spirit of the Sovereign Lord, come and make your presence known, reveal the glory of the living God. Let the weight of your glory cover us. Let the light 
mountain Savior, closest friend, strong deliverer, beginning and end. All within me falls at your throne, your majesty.
He said, I lay it all. Did you lay your unwanted things which you are still holding on to you? I am a holy God. Awesome and wonderful. There are some areas still I want you to correct. I am simple and humble, lowly in heart. Why don't you, why behave like me, talk like me, walk like me? Outwardly, you show spiritual. But inwardly, not. Unless your self breaks. Remove the tears which is in your heart. The judgmental attitude. Thinking others low. Do not have it, my son, my daughter. I want to do, do great things among you. Beware of the enemy's tricks. He is coming inside to break and then to destroy. Beware of the enemy's tricks. If you hold hand together and join together in unitedly, the enemy will flee from you. Gates of hell shall never prevail the church of Philadelphia. I want truth. In every one of you, truth. Not lie or not hypocrisy. So walk with me with a simple and humble heart. I will do great and mighty things. I want to do great things in 2023. Yes, I know you are preparing, praying. But hold on. Have one, one heart. I will build the church. Nothing is impossible for me. If only you humble and hearken my word. There is healing. The power of healing is here. Receive your healing this morning. Whatever sickness, every sickness got the name. It all, them, all of them will bow before me. My name is Jesus Christ. Lazarus. Marakuri bara bara shandaram. Financial breakthroughs are happening. Long awaited answers to our prayers. God is answering. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We acknowledge your presence and we thank you for ministering to us. We receive your word, Lord. As we get to the session of the word, we open our ears to hear from you. We open our hearts to receive your word with meekness. And Father, give us grace that we'll combine the word we hear with faith, which will be fruitful and effective in our lives. Thank you for the speaker, our senior pastor. Thank you for the word you've given to him. We prepare our hearts to hear and receive from you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's take our seats as I welcome us, uh, Medushayel, to read uh, scripture reading, the book of Acts, chapter 7, verse 30 to 30 to 39. This scripture reading is from Acts chapter 7, verses 30 to 38. And when the fourth year has passed, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire in a bush in the wilderness of Mount Sinai. When Moses saw it, he marveled at the sight, and he, he drew near to observe. The voice of the Lord came to him, saying, I am the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses trembled and dared not look. Then the Lord said to him, Take your sandals off your feet, 
for the place you stand is the holy ground. I have surely seen the oppression of my people who are in Egypt. I have heard their groaning and have come down to deliver them. And now I come, I will send to Egypt. This Moses whom they rejected, saying, Who made you a ruler and a judge? Is the one God sent to be an angel who appeared to him in the bush? He brought them out after he had shown wonders and signs in the land of Egypt and in the Red Sea, in the wilderness of forty years. Th this is the Moses who said to the children of Israel, The Lord is your God, who will rise up for you, a prophet like me, from your brethren. Like him you shall hear. This is who was in the congregation of the wilderness with me. angel who spoke to him in Mount Sinai, and with the fathers, the one who received the living oracles to give us. May the Lord add blessing to the reading of his word. Yes, okay. Okay, thank you. I greet you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We are going to hear the word of God. I request all of you to prayerfully sit and hear. We are from different nations. Our language, our pronunciation are different. It is difficult to some of you may be difficult to understand. May the Holy Spirit help you to understand. Yeah, while I was sitting, I was remembering that three times while Prophet Samuel was small, his mother leave him in the temple for the ministry of God. God one day God called him three times. He cannot recognize this God. The last, the prophet Eli told, next time you hear, Lord, speak to me, your servant hears. Let all of us have that attitude and prayer in your heart. Let the God speak to you. Me or anyone speaking will not help us. Whenever it comes as God speaking and God's revelation, there comes the blessing, there comes a result. So I request all of you to be a prayer, Lord, speak to me. Speak to me today. As our ch uh, child read this portion, you all understand I am going to speak about Moses. Yeah, is it correct? <laughs> yeah. We look into the 35th verse. Acts chapter 7, verse 35. The Moses whom they refused, saying, Who made you a ruler and a judge? The same did God send to be a ruler and the deliverer by the hand of the angel which appeared to him in the bush. Uh,
in this words two parts from that word i what i meditated uh, i want to bring it to your attention and your meditation and your response and your obedience not only you for all of it is to me also okay this is the two uh, part of uh, moses had a three set of uh, life we can see 40 40 40 yeah all of you studying the bible you know that yeah this is here it is mentioned two part of his life one is this moses whom they refused saying who made you ruler and judge he rejected some other he rejected moses the rejected moses and the second part that is coming after the 40 years of his life in the paros palace that other 40 years after the other 40 years the end of the 40 years this is happening and the other the second part is happening after again 40 years that means after 80 years what is happening the same person become a ruler and a deliverer this is my meditation what happened in between what happened in between in the 40 years of end they rejected who made you the ruler and judge for us is the question came the other after other 40 years he become the ruler and the deliverer of the same people the same man how it be my message today is god's blessing through our brokenness god's blessing through our brokenness god's silence brokenness is god's plan there's no doubt at all without brokenness in the life we cannot receive the heavenly blessing heavenly blessing underline that heavenly blessing all the heavenly blessings comes through the brokenness in our life if you refuse to that it will take time god's plan to deliver israelites from their slavery after 400 years Moses brokenness in his life it take 40 years that is why it become their deliverance become 430 years god's plan and god's thinking about moses was within 10 years i can or this man will be broken down and be prepared to deliver the israelites but it took 40 years you all know 40 years with a father in law 40 years with taking care of the sheep 40 years another country who who you ever think of that who lived 40 years in the palace in that time 
Nowhere you can find a facility like that. It is Egypt. Egypt is in the highest position that time. He was there 40 years. Shall we read one verse? Twenty-eighth verse says, twenty, twenty, verse twenty. At this time Moses was born and was well pleasing to God, the word. Well pleasing to God. God was pleasing as Moses born. That means what it means. Or do you understand? God has a plan. Before Moses born, or Moses born after, as a baby, he was pleased because he is the deliverer of the Israelites who are in slavery, who are crying, who are after all suffering God was well pleased but what happened we are going through some of the things in the 22 words 22 words look into that Moses was learned in all wisdom Moses was learned all wisdom, all wisdom in the highest. In that time, he learned everything. Even he knows the technique of how pyramid was made. Everything. Even now, the uh, engineers have failed to understand some of the things of the pyramid. But he knows about that. That means, did you notice that all wisdom of Egypt, all wisdom of Egypt. And the mighty in words and deeds. Don't think he was a problem to talk. He was a very, very good speaker, a lectern speaker. In all the deeds, he was in the highest. No one was above him in that time. Now come to the 23 words. Now, when he was 40 years old, this level, he came to the 40 years of age. It came into his heart to visit his brethren and the children of Israel. Is it a bad decision? Tell me. Is it a bad decision? He took a, eh? it is not, eh? it is not a bad decision. He wanted to deliver his people. It was not a bad decision. Then why it is not succeed? Why it is not succeed? If it is God's plan. See, God's plan is deliver the children. And what happened? This is our question. This is what we are going to, uh, going to look into that. This man has uh, uh, know everything. He is in a higher authority. He knows everything. He has power. He was strength. Everything was there. He take a decision from his mother. He know you are a Jew. You have to take care of your people. You have to. Ha you you should have a pain about your people who are suffering in this nation. We all are going through difficulties. It's 
whenever she got the time mothers are understanding something not only feeding with the milk or food giving the word giving the word that is what bring this result but he failed that is what i want to bring to your attention now two now you can find there another now is in 34 verse 34 <clears throat> i have surely seen the oppression of my people who are in egypt i have heard their groaning and have come down to deliver them next and now come and now come what is the meaning now and now you come the other now was your now you are on you are on now now is i am telling now you come you are prepared you are broken down in 40 years you are prepared to deliver my children from the bondage that time you are not prepared you understand something the good desires are good serving god ministering in the uh, music ministry or preaching or teaching whatever you do going to the homes and sharing the gospel coming to the church and worshiping everything is good god's desire in the child of god who ever come to receive the blessing of the heavenly they have to break down break down from their their heart they have to be broken down without that you can sing if you are talented you can preach if you are talented if you have language you can preach if you know the bible you can teach you can have burden you can go and help somebody you can do everything but this is a question today to me and you all who are hearing today is it is god's time it is from god if it is not from god that is will not be succeed that will not bring any result in the kingdom of god that will remain here that it will not be eternal it will not be eternal that is why that is why god allow the people to reject moses so hallelujah he tried your so hard strong one day one slap one died the next was what happened to him he played he played to midian where he suffered 40 years 40 years hallelujah here how many of you live with the father in laws eh? anybody here live with the father in law you try to live one year right eh? then you understand what is the difficulty hallelujah how many of you hallelujah look after the sheep very very difficult very difficult sheep are very hardly it is not hardly the sheep are not uh, what you call we, anybody uh, uh, we cannot uh, did you see circus and all lions are there eh? elephants there all animals are there anywhere in the circus you s- <laughs> saw this uh, <laughs> sheep no we cannot earlier 
we cannot uh, train very difficult god give him to train the lambs that is a way that is a way you become broken down you understand in your family you need that why the arguing wife for brothers why your husband sir getting angry you prepare you don't get angry if you can broken down within a period this good one one of my relatives was one of the uh, best uh, in, institution in bellur uh, medical college he st- uh, went to study there it took 10 years to come out of <laughs> mbbs yeah medicine he completed in 10 years that course is for 5 years yeah our children also some of our children are going for study yeah uh, 10 years school uh, seniors of uh, higher secondary they will take maybe 18 years some of them will come out the same go when god allow please accept it did you notice which some we started in uh, first some we read here huh? come on <laughs> yeah yeah you are the one who are doing that and then notice yeah 147 147 the <laughs> verse 3 what is what it is written there 3 anybody remembering 3 Huh? Hallelujah. He heals uh, broken hearts. He heals the broken hearts. The blessing comes where there is brokenness. It is it's on one thing. we can have everything from heavenly from god the almighty from holy the things of god we can receive only through the brokenness only through the brokenness this is what the gap that 40 years of wilderness uh, 40 years of in, in india that is what we can see in moses life is completely prepared before 40 years he take a decision huh? i am in the palace i am in authority i learn everything i can advise I can give holy this is what we are i am talented i am studied i am md i have preacher phd holy why i am not consider your phd is not record god your brokenness is required hallelujah one brother told me i i cannot brother i i cannot accommodate all this i am studied i am and all these things you are unqualified to serve the lord whoever it may be even as a believer you are unqualified how you can maintain a home joyful home christian home why there is fighting between a husband and wife why your children are not obedient father and mother they are not hallelujah broken down according to the word of god 
This is for the church, this church. God is speaking to you. Let us, let us. I'm not standing outside and speaking to you. I'm inside the church. I'm among you. Let us learn something from God. Let God use us in now. Now, Moses, you come. Who knows? You are not knowing who you are and how you are prepared and how you are, how you can do all things. God knows. That is the meaning of now. You understand? Now you are prepared for your healing. Now you are prepared for your hallelujah deliverance. Now you are prepared for your hallelujah. Why you are suffering? Why you are again and again hallelujah going through difficulty? You are not prepared in his sight before the congregation, before the people, everything hallelujah right. All are praising. When you go out after the ministry, hey, what you done today? Very good. Is it coming from God? There is a time in God's plan for everything. Are you preparing for that? That is a time God has given to prepare yourself to receive the blessings. If Moses were trying to kill one, 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 how many days it will take? Every day one? At how many days it will take? But now when he listen now, that now is accomplished through his life. One lifting the hands. Again, one lifting the hands. All under the sea. All Egyptian army under the sea. This is the way God works. You understand the the value of the brokenness. Value of the brokenness in your home. Try today. Try today. Why again and again argument? You are not broken down. You want an encouraging message? This is the best encouraging message. God is waiting to call you. Now, my son, come. My son, I want to deal with you, your family. Now this is the time. I am hallelujah. Handling your children. Now. Now. Now is the time. I'm going to deal with this church, if you are agree, I mean you to say amen to that. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and say hallelujah to the Lord. Hallelujah. God is looking to each and every heart how you are prepared to receive the heavenly blessing. There is no shortcut. There is no shortcut. And in verse says, then at that, at this saying, Moses fled, become dweller in the land of Midians. And when the 40 years had passed, see, when the 40 years had passed, is prepared. He never went to the top of the Moria. 
That day he went there to meet the Lord in his presence. Hallelujah. We always claim the presence of God. How we enter the presence of God? How we enter the presence of God? We, hallelujah, as hallelujah, worship leaders are all, uh, always welcome. How we are entering? You know, the tabernacle, uh, the outer court. Outer court, you can be hallelujah, born again. You become baptized. That is the place. The holy place. There you will be enlightened. You will get the word. You will be, maybe you will full of Holy Spirit there. But, but you are not in the presence of God. You understand something? You understand something. It's a very important thing. The outer court is your born again experience. Your baptism. The Holy Holy's praise is your enlightenment of the heavenly things. That is a place you get the word. That is a place you get hallelujah to the hallelujah of Holy Spirit. But you are not in the presence of God. That is, again you have to move forward through the veil. Through the veil which is broken. It is halted. This showing the brokenness. Without that, you cannot enter the holy of holy, the presence of God. You understand? Hebrew chapter 10, ten verse 20. Okay, and it is slow, okay. By a new and living way. By new and living way. This is a brokenness way. The broken way. By new and living way. Which he has consecrated for us. For us. He has done that. That doesn't mean we have to be broken down. Through the veil. Through the veil. That is to say, that is to say, it's flesh. It's flesh means it's will. It's surrender his will to the God Almighty as a human being. To be broken down. To care. Through that we are entering the presence of God. Without a brokenness in our life. When David sin and in uh, uh, Psalms 51 verse 17 I think so earlier. He's saying, you are not like to receive sacrifice. But, uh, eh? but, a broken heart. Is it correct? Praise God, hallelujah. Uh, that's, that sacrifice of God are broken spirit. Broken and con contrite heart. Oh God, you will not despise. You will not despise dear brothers and sisters and children who can understand this. This God will not despise. In the previous verse said God doesn't like 
to bring sacrifice more than sacrifice this is what god is highly interested in your life and my life let us highly understand this let us god give the revelation about that whatever he, it is not bad to highly learn the word of god it is not bad to highly understand the things it is not bad to highly having highly everything full of holy spirit yeah it's all but receiving the heavenly things getting from god that is the only way that's the only way that is for the holy veil which is terror which is terror that is nothing else that is nothing else our lord jesus christ we enter into that that is why we also crucify with christ we also crucify for our will our will our will hallelujah our will how we will crucify our will how how we will crucify our will It's standing here and preaching is not difficulty no uh, <laughs> difficulty is there yeah, that is that is easy going out and showing what i preach here that is difficult if you say one child is playing outside is you call him for ice cream which he is very very much like ice cream call him for ice cream within a minute he will grab and go but you tell a child tomorrow church school son come and read that portion teacher teach you will he come will he come why you are quiet eh your children come i will come and check no one child will not come or ask him to study that is called will which we like will. what happened in jesus life is sacrifice he cried on the gethsemane father if it is possible to father told look at Church of Philadelphia people who are coming there. You want to leave all the people? <laughs> okay, you can. You can. Don't take the cross. Lord Jesus said, no, I want all of us. All of us. He went to the cross. His will is sacrificed there. What is broken down? sacrificing our will sacrificing our will hallelujah first corinthian chapter 9 verse 27 what paul is telling regarding this what paul is telling Hmm? Yeah, but I keep you all listen that uh, 927 but I keep under my body and bring it into the subjection list that by any means 
when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. I discipline myself. I'm surrendering my will. If you have a living translation, that I think it is written I somewhere I wrote it here. Eh? Ah, okay, come on. What it should do, what it should do, what it should do, my eyes will see what it should see, but I and will do what it should do. My mouth will speak, my tongue will come use for what I should speak, and uh, not completed. The, uh, next. Huh. Yeah, I will not see, I will not uh, do what I will to do. This is what broken down. Surrendering our will to His will. His will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We all go to the uh, prophet. Uh, young children, for my time they will go. They have something in their hearts. And go to the prophet and ask. Is, if the prophet tell that is not the one who you should marry, he will agree? Never. Huh. Somebody have something inside and go and ask the prophet. One prophet recently uh, called me and told me, oh, 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 oh. One member of came to me and asking for uh, what is the, my future, I ought to stay here or I ought to go. And that, uh, pre, uh, that prophet was telling, that person want to leave, uh, stay here <laughs> and asking me to uh, tell, if I tell, yeah, tell uh, you have to go, what will be the uh, reaction from her? We are not willing to surrender our will. Even we ask for profit, even we go through the Bible, even we listen, once we surrender our will, the things will be changed. What friction, what argument, what demand, why it is demand, demanding? All because of our will is not surrendered to the Lord. We are not broken down. May the God Almighty help us. The person who said this, how much time it take to be broken down? The day he met Lord. Same time, same time. Here I am, O oh Lord. New Testament broken down. Old Testament broken down. 40 years. Jacob, 20 years. We can say so many. But the person, Paul, broken down in the gates of hmm? where? He met Lord? Damascus. The same time, may the God give the revelation. May the God Almighty help. That the Holy Spirit, hallelujah. I am sorry to ask this question. We claim we are filled with the Holy Spirit. Speaking in tongues, using gifts, are we broken down? Are we Surrender our will to the Lord. I'm telling you, we will not be same if we can. If we can. May the God help all of us. Don't leave. Continue to pray. Continue to pray. Lord, speak to me. 
Lord, speak to me. I want to hear. I want to hear. As you heard this today. Don't satisfy with your born again experience. Don't satisfy with your baptized experience. Don't satisfy what you enlighten by and what ministry you are doing or what how much you fill with the Holy Spirit or how much where do you know endure endure the presence of God endure the presence of God that is through the brokenness that is through the brokenness there comes the blessing of God there comes the heavenly things which we can taste day by day may God hallelujah make you to understand and surrender to the God Almighty hallelujah praise God hallelujah pastor thank you let's close the service in prayer most gracious loving father we thank you for this beautiful time that we have in your presence thank you for the praise and worship thank you lord for the word that's been spoken this very morning help us lord to be humble before you that we can be used for your glory father we thank you for especially those who are have come for the very first time and even those who brought them we pray special blessing upon their life those who are celebrating their birthdays anniversary and whatever promotion in their life we pray master let you are the god of who is a blesser father we thank you lord even as we go from this place and we commit all the remaining of the services throughout the day into your hand that let your presence continually be with all the services not only today but all throughout the week father we thank you lord in jesus name we pray now receive the benediction may the love of god the father the grace and peace of lord jesus and sweet fellowship of the holy spirit be with you and go with you and children of god say amen let's go with the song rejoicing the lord Thank you.